Welcome to this video on the femoral triangle, which can be found on the anterior surface of the thigh. So here I've drawn the anterior surface of a left thigh, with the lateral side down the right hand side of the screen and the medial down the left. And with all anatomical spaces, the femoral triangle has defined boundaries. In this case, these consist of a ligament, the greyish line at the top, and then four or five muscles drawn in oranges and reds. So let's label these structures. The ligament I mentioned, that's the inguinal ligament. It can be found attaching laterally to the anterior superior iliac spine and then medially and slightly more inferiorly to the pubic tubercle. Crossing the front of the thigh diagonally and over the top of all the other muscles, we have sartorius. Other muscles are iliopsoas, the common insertion of iliacus and solus major, pectineus, and adductor longus medially. So the inguinal ligament across the top forms the base of the femoral triangle, with sartorius forming the lateral border, and adductor longus forming the medial border. The combination of adductor longus, pectineus, and iliopsoas forms the floor of the femoral triangle. To fully define the boundaries of the femoral triangle, I'm now going to add the specific landmarks. Notice that it is in fact the medial borders of both sartorius and adductor longus that form the boundaries specifically. And now we can appreciate the shape of the femoral triangle. Now what we need to do is consider the roof. But before we get to that, before we close the box, let's think about the main contents passing through the femoral triangle. It's the contents that make this area so interesting and relevant. So the main contents that we have are a large nerve, artery and vein. Unsurprisingly, in the femoral triangle, these are the femoral nerve, femoral artery and femoral vein, in that order, passing from lateral to medial. These structures pass deep to the inguinal ligament in the retroinguinal space and pass through the femoral triangle. The femoral artery and vein are contained within a fascial covering called the femoral sheath, and that's what's been drawn here. Also within the femoral sheath, just medial to the femoral vein, are some deep inguinal lymph nodes and lymph vessels. The space containing these lymph vessels is known as the femoral canal. It's also important that although I haven't included them in this diagram, tributaries to the femoral vein and branches of the femoral artery, for example profunda femoris, can also be found associated with the femoral triangle. Over the top of all this, forming part of the roof along with the skin and subcutaneous tissues, is the fascia lata, which is represented by this kind of grey area. Within this superficial tissue, the great saphenous vein can also be found heading towards the femoral vein and then eventually piercing through these fascial layers to drain into it. Thanks for watching. Feel free to leave comments below. And don't forget to subscribe to Sotten Brain Hub and Sotten Anatomy Hub to see our latest videos as they're released.